Well, they were written at three different times in my life. Uh, the earliest, actually, is the symphony, uh, which, as I said before, was never live, had never had a live performance. Um, there was, I don't think uh, the life experience has that much influence on the piece itself. It's, um, as far as I'm concerned, I write for the organization or for the person that asked for it. So that has more to do with my relationship with that organization or that person is the main factor that uh, makes me write a certain piece. You know, if I'm writing for a fantastic orchestra like Baltimore or Cleveland, uh, I have that in my ear and in my mind when I write the piece. Uh, and uh, that determines a great deal of the outcome of what piece, that piece is going to be like. Um, also, uh, literature and nature has a great deal of influence uh, on my work. For instance, the symphony was written mostly in Florida while I was there on a, a teaching uh, assignment uh, in a very beautiful place. And I saw the real uh, power of nature because it was in a forest setting and we had terrible storms and then we had beautiful calm weather. And the symphony is a kind of a struggle between those two forces. Uh, the concerto was really written for a person and an orchestra. So therefore that uh, was the focus of it. And the um, drifting on winds and currents uh, was written after I read a beautiful poem uh, by a, uh, a wonderful uh, uh, poet whose name is Gluck. Uh, she's an American poet uh, and she, uh, the first line of a poem is, life is as if we were drifting on both winds and currents. So there is this dichotomy uh, constantly going on in the piece. Uh, and I like to do that in every piece because I think uh, we have in our lives periods of struggle and periods of peace. And I want to show that uh, distinction in our lives in the pieces that I write.